Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a War of the Gargantuan surprise fold. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our War of the Gargantuan surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper. I'm going to start by lining up the corners and giving the paper a nice fold down the middle. Then I'm going to line the corners up one more time and give it another fold. Now when I open this up, I have these nice little guidelines that show me where I want to keep the inside of my drawing. And I like to turn my paper this way so I can open it up for a fun surprise. Now to start off with this, let's begin with Sanda. So I'm going to begin right here and I'm going to start by making a line that's just going to kind of go down and then we're going to curve it back for the eyebrow. Then I'm just going to curve an oval shape around here for the eye. Then I'm going to curve this line down and I'll put a little circle in there and I'm just going to color this part in for the pupil. Next I'm going to curve this line up and I'm going to make a line that's going to curve up here. Next I'm going to make a line that's going to come down. I'm going to curve out for the nose. And we're going to make a line that goes up and down for the nostril. Then I'm just going to curve this line around. And then I'm going to add a couple little wrinkle lines under here. Next, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down and then curve back. Then I'm going to bring this down. And I'm going to make a couple little zigzag lines on here. Next, I'm going to make some lines that just kind of go down and then back here. Next, I'm going to curve a line around. We're going to put a little curve here. And we're just going to make some more kind of furry lines up here. Now, starting here, I'm going to make some lines that are just going to kind of curve back. And then we're just going to make some long kind of like pointed lines all the way around here. And then I'm going to curve a line around for the ear. And I'll put a little squiggle in it. Then we're just going to make some more kind of long kind of pointed curvy lines there. And then we'll add some more little lines around the eyes. And maybe a line or two up here. Now over here, let's make Gyra. So to start off with this, let's begin with the eye again. So we're going to begin by making a line that's just going to go down. And then I'm going to curve it back here. I'm going to bring a line that's going to curve around like this, making it a little bit skinnier than that one. We're going to curve this line up, put a circle in here, then I'm just going to color in the rest of it. Next, I'm going to curve a couple lines underneath the eye. Then I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve down, and it's going to come here. I'm going to make a big curve out here. I'm going to make a big nostril over here. And we're going to make a little kind of like shape here for the inside of the nostril. Put a couple little curves on here. Next, I'm going to curve this line up and do a couple lines here. Then I'm going to bring this line up and another line up here. Then I'm going to draw some long kind of like wavy lines right along here. And then we're going to make an ear that's going to come up to like more of a point and around. 
we'll put a little curve and bring this up for some detail. We'll make a little curve back here. And we're just gonna make some points kind of come across here. A little line or two down here for some more hair. Next around here, I'm gonna draw a line. It's just gonna kind of come down and then over. I'm gonna bring this line down. And then right here, I'm gonna make some lines. They're just gonna kind of come down and they're gonna have some curve as they come back up. Make some curves here and then we're gonna make some more kind of pointed lines coming down. And then we're just gonna make some more zigzag lines coming up. Now our next step is to open this up and draw the inside. Now, once I open this up, we have two halves of our gargantuans. Now let's begin with Sanda. So I'm gonna begin right here. We're just gonna kind of continue this nose down. Same thing here. And we'll just kind of bring these lines down. Next, starting here, I'm gonna draw a line. It's gonna come down. I'm gonna curve it around and we're gonna bring it down here, and then we're gonna bring it down to here. So it all connects for a big like open mouth. We're gonna make a big curve here. And we're gonna make a big line that comes down here. Then we're just gonna continue some of these kind of furry zigzag lines coming down. We'll just kind of connect them to here. Next, I'm gonna make right here kind of like a sharp tooth. And you can see I'm not having to touch the gum yet. And then I'm gonna make a couple round teeth with like a flat bottom. And then same thing here, a couple round teeth with a flatter bottom. Then we'll connect it for the gums. And then down here, we're just gonna make some kind of like rounder teeth with flat tops. Put a few there, then we're just gonna connect them. Then we're gonna make a line that's gonna curve up, and that's gonna come back here with a little curve for the tongue. And then we're just gonna make a line that comes down here, and then another line that comes down here for the back of the mouth. Now let's work on Gyra. I'm gonna bring this nose down, and I'm gonna kinda of bring this line down here, filling it in, and we're gonna curve this line down. Next, I'm gonna bring this line out, and we're gonna curve this down, and then we're gonna bring this around to here for the lips. We're gonna kinda of make a line that's gonna come down here. And then we're gonna make some lines that just kind of curve down for some teeth. And we're just gonna make some different size ones here. Then right here, I'm gonna bring this line up really sharp and pointy. And then we're gonna make some little curve lines right around here for some teeth. And we'll connect it for the gums. We're gonna make a line that's gonna curve around here for the tongue and a line in the middle. We're gonna bring this line down and then we'll bring another line down. Then we're gonna bring this line up and this line up and we're gonna kinda of connect it up to here. We're gonna make a little curved line here and we're just gonna make some more kind of like pointed zigzag lines. And there you go, there is your drawing of a War of the Gargantuan surprise fold. So when we have it all folded up, they're giving each other a stare down, and then when you open it, they are roaring at each other ready for battle. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.